hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is adida born i am filming from lagos nigeria if you are returning thank you thank you thank you for always supporting me thank you for always watching my video so if you are a new subscriber <laughs> i'm saying new subscriber because i believe you are going to subscribe if you are watching my video for the very first time i'm already saying new subscriber because i know you are going to subscribe to my channel and i'm saying thank you already thank you thank you thank you i appreciate so today from the um title i know you already know what we are talking about so please if you are hearing the sound i'm feeding my baby that's why so that's the sound you are hearing so guys today um we'll be talking about reflux reflux um i'll be sharing my experience and how i have been able to manage the situation so that's what we'll be talking about today reflux simply means like when a baby eats like when you feed the baby and then the food does not stay in his or her stomach and then the baby would then bring it out from his or her mouth and sometimes the nose as well so that's what um, reflux simply means I'm not stating any medical, medical, whatever. So let me share my experience. Um, there was a day, I think my baby was six weeks. Yes, my baby was six weeks when it happened. And then she slept. No, my I fed that. That's not the, like, that. it was, a, I think it was in the afternoon or towards the evening. So after feeding her, was it after feeding her? She slept, yeah. So when she woke up and then uh, immediately i think it was about after a minute or two after she woke up um she food came out from her mouth she, she I'm, is, I'm on exclusive breastfeeding so the breast milk came out from her mouth and out and then from her nose so that's not the first time we were experiencing something like that we already went to the hospital to complain even when we noticed the first time we noticed it so we went to the hospital we complained and they were like it's nothing that we should just um that is normal you know this the bad this thing that when i was pregnant i bent down a lot like i was always bending and all so anyways so then when it happened normally when it happens like that i'll just use cotton board to pick um the leftover in her nose after cleaning i use cotton board to clean her nose and then she will sneeze so that's all so but this particular day after um bringing it out from her nose and her mouth i cleaned up luckily for me my husband was around i cleaned and i was on phone with my eldest sister she's um into this she's a midwife so we're on phone with her and then so luckily for us we're on phone with my eldest sister she's a midwife and then she was like okay they immediately like about a minute or two after um the food came out from her mouth and her nose she choked so she was like okay we should pat her back we should put her like in a sitting position and then pat her back so when this was not working she said we should bend her a little we did that and we were still patting her back but then my baby was not responding at all she was just she was just spitting out something like foam like it was the speech was foaming so we saw her she was just she was become like within a minute or two my baby was weak like she at first she was struggling like you know when you are struggling with something like you were she was struggling and then so within a minute or two she was already weak kind of and then she was trying to like close her eyes like she wants to sleep so my sister was like we need to immediately rush out to the hospital and then myself and my husband we dashed out and we were able to get um, a bike to quickly take us to the hospital so on our way to the hospital guys okay on our way about two occasions she closed her eyes that I was just calling her name. My husband was patting her. It, this one is not even patting again. My husband was literally beating her. So then after that, she she opened her eyes and then 
we'll, like okay she's awake and we'll be glad we'll move forward and then she did it again the second time but the third time guys so the second time she literally closed she she closed her eyes and then we did the same thing she opened it but the third time the third time she closed her eyes completely with the beating the shouting the everything she was not responding like she them say she passed out she was not responding and then my husband was my husband out to like um i don't know what is this thing called that you put you breathe air into the other person that was mouth to mouth um this thing that was what my husband did before she could open her eyes and luckily for us we were very close to the hospital then the hospital not really close to our house but it's not that far and with bike you know now with bike you with bike you get there very fast and then we were very close to the hospital and when we got to the hospital we the doctor doctor we rushed her in and the, the doctor take over from there and I was not allowed to go inside because at that time I was so emotional. I won't even lie. I was crying. I was crying. So I was not allowed to go inside. So I was only my husband that followed them into the emergency room. And then she was attended to. And after like about um, 30 minutes to one hour, we left the hospital and went home. So I then... She was giving some drugs. I won't mention the drugs, please. I don't want self medication, so I won't state the drugs. So after that, I researched on it, and I I saw um, different posts, different um, this thing that if the uh, there's this group, there's this group that there's this group on Facebook. I'm in a group on Facebook where I can you can actually ask questions or search from the group for previous um, questions that people have asked. Then I checked and I was I read that if the um, this thing persists, that you can take the child to see a pediatrician to know if there is no medical whatever behind the um, whole thing. So after. I think after like a week or so, I took her to a general hospital to see the doctor and then the doctor checked her and I thought I was like, okay, there's nothing wrong with her. That she actually checked if there's anything wrong with her lungs or something, that there's nothing wrong with her, that she's perfect, she's okay, that we should even stop using the drugs for her, that we shouldn't use any drug for her. And so that was um, how we stopped using the drug. That we should only continue to monitor her, to only stay by her side and all. So even after that time, it did happen again. But, you know, we have more experience now. So what I also, from my research, what I also got was that, what I read was that after feeding your baby, don't put the baby down immediately. You... Then obviously you allow the baby to bob because I do that always at, as well. But then before you put her, is before I'm using her because my baby is a girl. Sorry, before you put the baby down, you have to like put the baby on your shoulder, not complete shoulder shoulder. Um, I don't know if I can show you. My baby is still feeding, but you put the baby on your shoulder. You put the baby on your shoulder and then allow the baby to relax for like 15. You allow the baby to relax for like 15 to 30 minutes so the baby the food can go down into the baby's stomach before you put her to sleep and also we're told to not force feed i don't force feed my baby though but let me just state it out we're told to not force feed don't force feed your baby and don't feed your baby while sleeping if the baby is sleeping allow the baby to sleep don't don't feed the baby while sleeping another thing is don't feed such baby while lying down um so guys um another sorry i have to quickly attend to my baby so another thing is don't feed your child while lying down you know you can easily feed the baby 
when the baby when the both of you are lying down but then babies with baby that um do experience reflux you are not to feed the baby while lying down and don't leave the baby all alone by his or herself someone has to be beside the baby so what i do is my baby still have the attack <laughs> not attack my baby still my baby do still experience reflux and um i was told that there are, you, it, the baby can outgrow outgrow the situation around six months obviously the baby is going to outgrow it but then it might take six months it might take for some babies a year but hopefully my baby is going to stop soon because it's <clears throat> the experience is not it's not something someone should pray for so um what i do is once i finish feeding my baby i allow her to bop and then i'll bop her and then um allow, i'll allow her to build and then put her on my shoulder and allow her to stay for like 15 to 30 minutes so after that i can then put her to sleep on the on the bed or wherever so with that i've been able to um control it a bit and then i don't place her on flat surface so i put um like a cloth to lift her head up a bit so that's what I do, and I told the doctor, and the doctor said, "Yeah, it's fine. That it shouldn't be too high, though. But then it's nice to place her head on something, so she won't be on a flat surface. So another thing is, if you put your baby down facing up, then you move her head to the side, just this way. So when she's about to bring out the food from her mouth." she won't choke on it her food will just come out easily so if she place her head this way lie down flat like this facing up she might choke so you make sure you either put her head on this side or the other side so just make just make sure she's not facing her face is not facing up directly so that's another thing i do for my baby um what other thing i think i think that's all and I don't overfeed my baby. Once she stops sucking, that's all. I won't force her to continue. I won't force her to continue feeding. So once she's okay, she stops sucking, and that's it. So I don't time my baby. For at least for now, I don't time her. She sucks. She. I feel that whenever she requests for it, and then. She stops whenever she's ready to, whenever she's filled, she stops. So if my baby cries and it's not like she's hungry, no matter how I try to feed her, she won't. So in that situation, I won't force her. I know, okay, probably she needs my attention. That's why she's crying and not for me to feed her. So you need to as well know your child. You need to know your child um so i think i think that's all that's that's all but then you have to be extra careful with a child that do experience reflux because i i don't know i've not seen any child that choked to death but from my experience hmm, a child can actually choke to death if the care is not taken so you have to always be like stay around the um sort child you have to listen around so you have to be around the child uh, okay uh, really uh, laughing hey girl hey mama so i think that's all that's all i have to say about reflux if you have experienced it or you have someone that have experienced reflux um with their child you can put it down in the comment section put down the experience and what the person is currently doing or what the person did to to overcome the whole situation so you can let us know in the comment section so we can all learn from um your experience so today's vlogmas day night and i am super excited even my baby can see it. my baby is laughing i am super excited yeah the year is gradually going to an end and i pray 
that everything, everything we wished to, everything we hoped for, everything we hoped for from the beginning of this year and we've not gotten, I pray that the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to make it happen before the end of this year in Jesus' name. By the way, guys, my mic has arrived. I am so happy. I got a call today that my mic has arrived and um i should pick up so probably i'll pick up um if i don't pick up this weekend i'll pick up during the week next week and then i'll show you guys we'll review the mic together i'll definitely show you we'll unbox it together that's my baby he does my baby my baby wants to talk mommy i want to talk yes my baby you will talk at the right time so guys thank you guys thank you guys for um the likes on my previous videos for subscribing to my channel for your comments i want to see more comments please guys always comment on my video and please share my video with family and friends please guys share my video like comment share and subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel already